blanket and the fourth year letter winners will be receiving their watch. Uh, along with that, each of the wrestlers will receive a copy of their individual season record form from last year that has every match that they wrestled, uh, their weigh in on it, what weight you were wrestling, who your opponent was, win, loss, where it was at. It's got all that information on there. So, you know, seniors in 30 years, you can actually prove to somebody you actually wrestled this certain weight class because probably in 10 years they're not going to believe that. Uh, except for Transu, he'll still weigh 140 pounds 10 years from now anyway. So, yeah, Brock, you should laugh. <laughs> Could resist, Brock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, first today, uh, we have um, Connor Davis. Uh, Connor's the son of Kelly and Mark Davis. Uh, come on up, Connor. Just grab your pile, turn around, stand until I'm done. Uh, he's a, and here again, when I say what year they are, this is last season, not this season. Uh, he was a freshman, 149 pound civil engineering major from Lebanon, Ohio. Competed in 11 matches, compiling a 2 and 9 record before his season was uh, ended due to an injury. Uh, today he'll be receiving his participation certificate. Connor Davis. Ben Dupre. Ben's the son of Kathy and Brian Dupre. A, he was a freshman, 197 pound uh, forensic biology pre med major from Louisville, Kentucky. Competed in 23 matches, compiling an 11 and 12 record. Placed fifth at the SUMA Invitational. Uh, ben will be receiving his duffel bag, Varsian letter, and certificate. Luke DeWeese. Luke is the son of Jan and Scott DeWeese. He was a freshman, 149 pound computer science and electrical engineering major. Uh, from Hilliard, Ohio, he competed in eight matches, compiling a three and five record before his season was cut short due to injury at the ONU Invitational. Uh, Luke still stayed active with us by assisting with our mat side filming of the matches. Uh, he'll be receiving his participant certificate today. Adam Dillon. Adam is the son of Michelle and Jeff Dillon. He was a freshman, 165 pound mechanical engineering major from Lebanon, Ohio. Competed in 28 matches, compiled a 10 and 18 record. Adam will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. <laughs> Bailey Gibson. Bailey's the son of Angie and Tom Gibson. He was a freshman, 141 pound middle childhood education major from Elida, Ohio. Competed in 40 matches, compiling a 23 and 10 record. Placed fifth at the ONU Invitational, third at the SUMA Invitational, and first at the Mid States Invitational. Bailey's receiving his duffel bag, uh, varsity end letter, and certificate. Antonio Gonzalez. Now, Antonio, as you come up, we don't. There's nothing sitting here for you, but I still want you to come up and stand. Okay. Uh, Antonio is the son of Teresa and Arturo Gonzalez. He was a freshman, 149 pound computer engineering major from Dublin. Uh, was not able to compete last year due to a preseason injury. Uh, he spent the season rehabbing the injury and assisting the team by filming matches throughout uh, the season. He'll be receiving a participant certificate, uh, but and, uh, he did an outstanding job, really. And it, it's tough as a freshman when you come in and get injured and you can't be on the mat. That always worries me with freshmen especially because you're trying to get them ingrained in the team. Uh, so that's why we'll have these guys help film and do things to stay active. Uh, but his knee just did not react as fast as everybody had hoped, but it's good to go. And I know he's excited and look forward to this year. So thank you, Antonio. <laughs> Jacob Hammond. Jacob's the son of Cindy and Brian Hammond. He was a freshman 125 pound sport management major from Sagamore Hills, Ohio. Competed in 20 matches, compiling an eight and 12 record. Placed sixth at the ONU Invitational, and Jacob will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. Adam Lenhoff. Adam is the son of Sally and Jack Lenhoff. He was a freshman, 157 pound construction management major from Newcomerstown, Ohio. Competed in 33 matches, compiling a 19 and 14 record. Placed fifth at the Alma Open, 
and second at the Mid-States Invitational. Adam is receiving his duffel bag varsity end letter and certificate. He'll also be receiving a plaque for the academic award, which goes to the wrestler that has the highest GPA in the fall semester. Uh, I'm proud to say he had a 4.0, and he maintained that in the spring semester as well. So see if you can get the award twice. Logan Painter. Logan is the son of Julie and John Painter. He is, was a freshman, uh, 197, then moved up to heavyweight last year, mechanical engineering major from Marysville, Ohio. Competed in 36 matches, compound an 11 and 25 record. Placed seventh at the NCAA Central Regional. Logan will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter and certificate. He'll also be receiving his plaque for placing seventh at the heavyweight uh, weight class at the NCAA Central Regional. Camden Spears. Camden is the son of Sharon and Brian Spears. He was a freshman 125 pound electrical engineering major from Plainfield, Indiana. Competed in 31 matches, compiling a 20 and 11 record. Placed second at the ONU Invitational, fifth at the Waynesburg Invitational. Camden will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. Chase Sumner. Chase is the son of Jennifer and Jason Sumner. He is a, was a freshman, 149 pound biology pre-PA major from Ada, Ohio. Competed in 43 matches, compiling a 37 and six record. He placed fifth at the Mount Union Invitational, third at the ONU Invitational, first at the Waynesburg Invitational, fourth at the Pete Wilson Invitational, fourth at the NCA Central Regional. Chase will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. He will also be receiving a plaque for placing fourth at the 149 pound weight class at the NCA Central Regional. Uh, he'll be receiving his NCA National Qualifier Medallion and NCA Patch, and a plaque for the Fastest Pin Award, which we give out each year. And as tradition, I announce who that individual was so that sometime down the road uh, when they come visit Ohio Northern, they'll see that on a plaque out in the trophy case. But on January 23rd, uh, Jorge Hernandez from Nebraska Wesleyan was pinned by Chase in 38 seconds. That was the fastest pin last year. I don't know what took him so long. The school record's nine seconds, so I don't know. So, <laughs> A.J. Zagetti. A.J. is the son of Alex and Melissa Zagetti. He was a freshman, 165-pound manufacturing technology major from Oregon, Ohio. Competed in 32 matches. Compiled a 21 and 11 record. Placed second at the ONU Invitational. Fifth at the Alma Open. Third at the Mid-States Invitational. AJ will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. Noah, Noah Williamson. As we work our way through, they're farther away. It takes them longer to get up here. Uh, Noah is the son of Ann and Charles Williamson. He was a freshman, 165 pound early childhood education major from Conklin, Ohio. Competed in 27 matches, compiling a 9 and 18 record. Noah will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. Okay, moving along to our sophomore class from last year, Jordan Hardrick. Jordan's the son of Erica and William Hardrick. He was a sophomore, 165 pound pharmacy major from Huber Heights, Ohio. Competed in 34 matches, compiled a 23 and 11 record. Placed sixth at the Mount Union Invitational, second at the Waynesburg Invitational, fourth at the Pete Wilson Invitational, and sixth at the NCA Central Regional. Jordan will be receiving his varsity end jacket, his second team All Ohio Athletic Conference frame certificate, and plaque. For 165 pounds, he'll also be receiving a plaque for placing sixth at the 165 pound weight class at the NCA Central Regional. Connor Quiet. 
Connor is the son of Karen Quiet, is a, was a sophomore, 174 pound manufacturing technology major from Bloomville, Ohio. Competed in 45 matches, compound a 27 and 18 record, placed seventh at the ONU Invitational, fourth at the Waynesburg Invitational, sixth at the NCA Central Regional. Connor will be receiving his varsity end jacket plaque for placing six at 174 pounds at the NCA Central Regional and his Scholar All-American Certificate. Cole Medford. Cole's the son of Missy and Darren Medford. Cole a, was a sophomore, heavyweight from Lewistown, Ohio. Competed in 26 matches, compiled an 8-18 eight and 18 record. Uh, Cole was, was injured a year before. Uh, had to have some surgery done, and, and this is one of those cases where you have somebody that was injured and worked all year to rehab and then come back and get a lot of mat time and really start trying to pick up where they left off. And it, it's tough, especially as a freshman when he hadn't been on the mat since his senior year in high school. Uh, but Cole will be receiving his duffel bag and certificate, and we're really excited to see if he can hold together this year. Yeah. Glue him together. Sean Wagner. Sean's the son of Jill and John Wagner, was a sophomore, 157-pound nursing major from Southington, Connecticut, competed in 44 matches, compiling a 28-16 and 16 record, placed fifth at the ONU Invitational, second at the Waynesburg Invitational, third at the Mid-States Invitational. Sean will be receiving his varsity end jacket. And moving into our juniors, Brody Bookless. Come on up, Brody. Okay. Brody's the son of Shelley and Tom Unger. He was a junior business finance major from Coshocton. Um, having Brody come up, his, his career ended. He had to have uh, back surgery a year ago, and actually a year and a half ago probably now. Uh, but he became, with his career ending, he became the voice of ONU wrestling. With Daniel Quiet graduating and having done our live streaming all those years, uh, Brody picked up and, and really did an outstanding job with that. Uh, and here again, he travels with us. We try to keep Brody as involved as a program as we can. Uh, it's hard to tell with his mask on, but he always has a smile on his face. Uh, even when he was wrestling, no matter what was happening out on the mat, he always had a smile on his face. Uh, he loved being out there and enjoyed it. Uh, does an outstanding job for us with the uh, video streaming, so thank you very much, Brody. <laughs> Skyler Caprella. Skyler's the son of Brenda and Andy Caprella. He's a junior 150. He was a junior 157-pound pharmacy major from Harrod, now Bluffton, Ohio. Uh, competed in 53 matches, compiling a 43 and 10 record. And 53 is way too many, Skyler. We, we, we have to quit getting that quarterfinal loss and then coming all the way back and get third. Uh, so that, that's what we're going to do this year. Uh, but he ended up with a 43-10 and 10 record, placed third at the Mount Union Invitational, third at the ONU Invitational, fourth at the Waynesburg Invitational, fourth at the Alma Open, second at the Summa Invitational, and first at the Mid-States Invitational, and finished fifth at the NCA Central Regional. Schuyler will be receiving his varsity end blanket and uh, plaque for placing fifth at 157 pounds at the NCA Central Regional. <laughs> Scott Lang. Scott's the son of Pam and Bill Lang and the husband of Ashley Lang. Thought I'd get that plug in for you, Scott. So uh, he was a junior last year, 165 pound mechanical engineering major from Beulah, Michigan. He competed in 22 matches, compiling a 6 and 16 record. Scott will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end certificate, uh, and varsity end letter. Cameron Poulton. Cameron's the son of Don Harris McLean and Chad Poulton. He was a junior, 141 pound pharmacy major from New Albany, Ohio. Competed in 21 matches, compiling an 8 and 13 record. Cameron will be receiving his duffel bag, varsity end letter, and certificate. <laughs> Jevin Pratt. Jevin's the son of uh, Amy and Ryan Pratt. 
He was a junior, 157-pound business management major from Cary, Ohio, competed in 21 matches, compiled an 11-10 record, placed seventh at the Mid-States Invitational, and Jevin will be receiving his varsity end jacket. <laughs> Rhett Roeder. Rhett's the son of Connie and George Roeder. He was a junior, 157-pound mechanical engineering major from Monroeville, Ohio, competed in 18 matches, compiled an 8-10 and 10 record, and Rhett will be receiving his varsity end blanket. Cash Thompson, son of Shannon Thompson Bennett and Brad Bennett. Cash was a junior, 197-pound business management major from Odessa, uh, Lake Odessa, Michigan. Competed in 37 matches, compiled a 29-8 and eight record. Placed first at the Mount Union Invitational, third at the ONU Invitational, third at the Waynesburg Invitational, sixth at the Wheaton Invitational, second at the NCAA Central Regional. Cash will be receiving his varsity end blanket, his second team all Ohio Athletic Conference frame certificate, a plaque for the 197 pound uh, for placing second at the NCAA regional, uh, and he will also be receiving his national qualifier medallion and NCAA patch. Okay, now we're down to the seniors, okay, which is always the hard part. We've got three of the four seniors here uh, today. Uh, Brandon Bartlome, Brock Jones, Seth Transu are here. Jeff Andrews was not able to make it. Jeff's in law school. You got Jeff? Hey, Jeff, wave, man. All right, cool. I, I want to see how you're going to come from the phone up to pick up your awards. Yeah. They, well, I already put them in the truck, so I'm, I'm going to have to mail them to you. All right, we're glad Jeff can join us, okay? Uh, but as I was saying, Jeff's in law school, first year law school, uh, up at Cleveland State. Uh, law school is not an easy endeavor, and if you know anything about the first year of law school, they just run you through the ringer. Uh, and Jeff's getting run through the ringer right now. Uh, he told me the other day he's a little worried, he's trying to just keep up and, and keep his head above water. But I reminded him that he wrestled in college for four years. There isn't anything that law school is going to throw at him that he can't handle, because he's already done it. Uh, but our, our seniors, between the four of them, they totaled 358 career matches uh, that they stepped out on the wrestling mat representing Ohio Northern University, our wrestling team, their parents, and their family. Okay, they endured four years of college athletics, and especially wrestling. Okay, that's an outstanding accomplishment uh, for any college athlete to compete all four years. Uh, our sport, I think, takes on a, a little bit different uh, side of things with having to watch your weight, the travel, everything that we do, that grinding, that pounding, uh, and these guys did it for four years. And, you know, adversity comes in many different forms. You get the nagging injuries, uh, season career engine injuries sometimes, uh, academic pressures, fighting for the starting spot in the lineup. I've seen these four guys go through everything. And if there's an example to set, uh, especially for the freshmen sitting back there, uh, you can do it because these guys are able to do it. But I'll tell you why this group especially was be able to do it, and it was hard work. Okay, None of the things that they accomplished came easy. I've watched them all go through injuries. I've watched Brock end of season. Seth, it seemed like he, you know, your first couple years you always had that injury at the wrong time. Uh, Brandon didn't start out. He started out playing baseball, decided to come from the dark side over to the good side. Uh, Found out he couldn't hit the curveball, I think. I don't know. Uh, but here again, he endured. And, and to be off a wrestling mat for three years and then say, hey, I'm going to go out. And he really picked it up at the end of his, his senior year. And things started to really come together. Uh, Jeff endured over that time as well. Uh, Jeff was always right there at times. And, you know, we all know Jeff. Jeff's bullheaded and stubborn. It took him two and a half years, I think, before he finally figured out, maybe I should try doing some of the things coaches are telling me. All right, but once he figured it out, things took off. But all four of these young men have an impeccable work ethic. No matter what we threw at them, they were always there, always came back, and that is continuing. Jeff's in law school. Seth is a civil engineer. Had a job before even wrestling season last year. 
Brock is in management, has two credit hours he's finishing up, and he's still working, okay, for the family business. And from what I've heard, he's, he works harder and longer hours than his dad. I don't know, that's just what his mom was telling me. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think he's making the money his dad is, but uh, he's, he'll earn that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, and Brandon, the, the work ethic, uh, he passed his athletic training certification this summer. He's got a couple of job offers he's looking at right now. There isn't anything that's going to stop these four guys. And I'd like to think wrestling had a little bit of something to do with that. Uh, but the ones that we're really here to honor today are the parents sitting here with them. Uh, Brock's dad sent me an email the other day saying thanks and we won't go into that because him and I'll probably both start crying and that's why he sent it to me. He said, I can't say this stuff to your face. Uh, but he gets to hide behind a mask while I sit up here every year and end up blubbering over the, the seniors. But, uh, you know, as a coach and as coaches, we can't undo what the parents did in 18 years. We can only take what the parents did for the first 18 years and add to it. We actually have the easy job, okay? So moms and dads, what you did with these young men for the first 18 years was a phenomenal job. You taught them that work ethic. You taught them how to overcome adversity, how to persevere. These are the things that every parent needs to teach their children. And you didn't make it easy for them. You didn't give them the easy way out. I, I know the parents, you didn't say, oh, it's okay. If they lost a match, you didn't say, that's okay. All right, here's a, the participation certificate, and let's go get ice cream. Okay, you probably told them, that's nice, but you got to do better because you can do better. Okay, so we're fortunate as coaches to be able to take that, what you did for 18 years, and just continue that on and keep adding to it. And they're at the time, especially when they start getting 19, 20, 21, they truly are becoming uh, young men who are starting to figure things out in life. They're not young high school uh, kids anymore that don't have a worry in the world. They're starting to think about their career. But that's when they start getting focused because they start thinking about wrestling's going to be over in these number of years. And when it's over, it's over. You know, I always say we did not choose a sport that when you're 35 years old, you can go to the local church league wrestling match on Sunday afternoons and roll around. All right, our sport just doesn't work that way. There's other sports you can do that are lifetime sports. That's great. Good for them. Wrestling's not one of those. Okay. Uh, but it is a sport that when it's done, it's done. you got to take advantage of it while you can. Uh, and these four young men took advantage of every opportunity they had. Okay, Very, very proud of them. Um, things they'll be receiving today, uh, they'll receive their uh, collage. of Kyle, you want to hold that up so everybody can see those. Kyle did these. These were on social media, and we made them in the collage. We always give the seniors a collage of pictures, but we kind of changed it a little bit this year. I uh, thought these came out really nice. Uh, each of the seniors will be receiving that uh, to take with them and hang uh, in their, I don't know, living room, you know, down in the, the den, your office, wherever. You know, someday you get married where their wife will let you hang it. Uh, I still had a John Wayne picture. My wife still won't let me hang that up anywhere, and I still want to hang that up. And she's listening right now, so I still want to hang that up, Christy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and she's shaking her head no right now. <laughs> All right. Um, they'll also be receiving, and, and I'll name each thing as they go through, but the other thing uh, that I got them, and this was kind of by a fluke, and it goes back to the, uh, you know, work harder concept that, you know, no one cares, just work harder. And it was in the spring, and, and I was doing something on the Internet, and this ad pops up. Uh, and it's an ad for a coffee mug. And usually those, you know, I just kind of delete those out. Well, the coffee mug read, nobody cares, work harder. And I said, right, I'm like running out to Kyle's desk. I'm like, check this out. We got to get this for the seniors. And I got one for the three of us coaches as well. Uh, so, guys, not only uh, are you getting all your awards, have things to hang on the, uh, the wall for all posterity, but on your desk you can have that coffee mug to kind of remind you all right, no one wants to hear your whine or about anything, and whatever is happening, you just got to work harder. You got to find a way to get it done, and there's no doubt in my mind you uh, you four will do that. Uh, first, Bailey, why don't you come up with Jeff and hold? So you know he's he's on the cell phone there. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> right, so stand there so they can see. Okay, this is high tech stuff. 
So if we'd have known we had like an eight by 10 screen, we could have put him up on or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Jeff Andrews, the son of Victoria Deitch and Eric Andrews. He was a senior 141 pound business major from New Baltimore, Michigan. He competed in 48 matches, compound a 34 and 14 record. Placed fifth at the Mount Union Invitational, third at the ONU Invitational, third at the Waynesburg Invitational, fifth at the Wheaton Invitational, and fourth at the NCAA Central Regional. He competed in 155 career matches, compiling a 96 and 59 record. Jeff will be receiving his four year Letterman's Watch, a plaque for placing fourth at 141 pounds at the NCAA Central Regional a plaque for winning the Pride Work Win Award, which is voted on by the team. Also receiving a plaque for the Leadership Award that is voted on by the team. And his senior frame uh, collage of pictures. Uh, and obviously we're not gonna send that to him through the uh, internet, uh, but we'll make sure Jeff gets that. So Jeff Andrews. Forecast didn't have rain in it today. It's the Beachler luck. Okay, Brandon Bartlome. Brandon is the son of Renee and John Bartlome, was a senior, 133 pound athletic training major from Sheffield Village, Ohio. Competed in 34 matches, compiling a 22 and 12 record. And I think those 12, you maybe should have only lost six. Uh, <laughs> but but he, he figured it out at the end. That was the key. All right. Uh, placed third at the ONU Invitational. Placed third at the Alma Open. Placed third at the Mid-States Invitational. Competed in 59 career matches in a, a two-year career, compiling a 31-28 and 28 record. Brandon is receiving his varsity end jacket. His OAC Wrestler of the Week uh, frame certificate for the week of January 20th, a plaque for the Most Improved Award, which is voted on by the team, and his senior frame collage of pictures. Brandon Bartlow. <laughs> Brock Jones. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brock is the son of Jennifer and Jim Jones, uh, was, is a senior, 157-pound business major, and that, that was like two years ago that he wrestled 157. Uh, three, okay. I was, I was giving you a little slack. Yeah. All right, and as we talked earlier, Brock, uh, Brock's career was ended by injury. He was an excellent technical wrestler. Uh, we made him into the, a coach the last basically two years. Uh, did an outstanding job coaching and developing the guys, helping out them throughout the year. Uh, in his career, he competed in 15 matches, unfortunately, compiling an 11-4 and four record. Uh, he'll be receiving his senior frame collage of pictures and his coffee mug. Uh, Brock Jones. <laughs> Seth Transu. Careful lifting that up because it's all on glass and you've got a lot of stuff sitting on there and I don't want it to break. I thought about texting Seth this morning, say bring a wheelbarrow, uh, you might need it. Uh, son is the son of Kelly and Gary Transu. Uh, senior, 125 pound civil engineering major from Plain City, Ohio. He competed in 38 matches last year, compiling a 26 and two record. He placed second at the Mount Union Invitational, third at the ONU Invitational, first at the Waynesburg Invitational, first at the NCA Central Regional was also named the NCAA Central Regional Outstanding Wrestler, which he has his big old plaque or trophy that he got at the tournament last year. Competed in 127 career matches, compiling an 86 and 41 record. Today he's receiving his four-year Letterman's Watch, first team all Ohio Athletic Conference frame certificate and plaque for 133 pounds, his OAC Academic All-Conference Frame Certificate, a plaque for placing first at the 133 pounds at the NCA Central Regional. He is also receiving the Outstanding Wrestler Award voted on uh, by the team. 
He is receiving his NCA National Qualifier Medallion and NCA Patch. He is receiving a plaque for the Leadership Award, which is voted on by the team. He is also receiving his Senior Frame Collage of Pictures. The other item that he has on there that he hasn't uh, seen yet, uh, every year the Ohio Athletic Conference uh, names one male and one female student athlete from each institution as the Clyde Lamb Award winner. It goes to the top uh, academic and athletic individual, male and female, at that institution, voted on by all the coaches at each institution. Um, normally, when you receive that, the parents, myself, Seth, would have went down to the OEC Spring Banquet, uh, where they announce everything, and nice banquet, but with the COVID, that got canceled, so that's just one other thing that I guess you got cheated out of, Seth, but, uh, you know, we all deal with adversity. We know that. Uh, but it's an outstanding award because Clyde Lamb is the father of Ohio Northern Athletics. It was started by Ohio Northern within the conference. If you go out to the um, uh, coach's room that looks above the pool and it's the VIP lounge, it uh, has a picture of him, and underneath it just says, The Chief. Okay, So he was highly revered, but he truly believed in the student-athlete. Uh, and Seth not only represented us very well in that capacity as a wrestler over four years by being a several time scholar All-American, uh, but he also was Ohio Northern's representative to the Ohio Athletic Conference as our top male student athlete from last year. Seth Transu. Okay, this has to be a new record for the ONU banquet. Uh, there's probably alums sitting out there watching this going, well, how come he wasn't that fast when I had to sit there all the time? Uh, but part of it, good, we got through it. Uh, the other part, we didn't get the ice, tree, ice cream, didn't get to do the socialization that we usually do. Uh, once again, I thank everybody for coming, especially thank you to the seniors, uh, Jeff over there, okay, and, and Seth, Brock, and Brandon. Uh, you guys meant a lot to the program and, and taught a lot of these guys a lot of things that they need to carry forward with the example that you set. To the parents, thank you very much for your support over the years and, and the parents that aren't able to be here today and are watching. Uh, thank you for trusting your sons to, to myself, Ivan and Kyle, and uh, everything you do for the program, your support, uh, your, your love for your son, for getting them to Ohio Northern, for making sure they understand that they're here for that education, but we're gonna see how good we can become as wrestlers as well. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that the things that you learn as a wrestler, it may be done after your college career as far as you being able to compete, but the things you learn, you will use the rest of your life. Okay, So do you four with those coffee mugs, someday I'm just going to pop into your office out of the middle of nowhere. I want to see that baby sitting on a corner of that desk. Okay, uh, So that's all for today. Thank you very much for everybody. Uh, thank you for coming, and it looked like the little sprinkle we had quit, so we're all safe on that. Uh, and we're looking forward to the season getting started this year and having that banquet in person uh, come March. Thank you.